incredible oh. Olivia Jordan, 102. What a life wow. she's led. Stunning. Sarah's here for the weather, of course. Now, you told me earlier on you always get the doom and gloom days. Normally, a... normally get the doom and gloom. But today, it's been a lovely mild day, hasn't it? 15.6 we got at Middle Wallet. That's what we want. Pretty That's pleasant. exactly what we want. Feeling fresher soon, though. We had some gorgeous weather photos. Let's take a look at some of your contributions. Amazing colours in this scene at Hatchet Pond, captured by Neil Harris. And dramatic skies in this photo from Victoria Timms. Brilliant Buckinghamshire looking stunning there. And some blue skies here above Bournemouth Pier. Sid Hearth sent that one in. Thank you. We did have a good deal of cloud around at times today and there were some patchy spells of rain and drizzle too. But there were some brighter moments, some blue skies and you can see here in pool some wonderful pastel colours. Thank you very much to our weather watcher Jackie for sending that one in. Now as we take a look ahead to tomorrow there'll be a good deal of brightness, some sunny spells to enjoy after perhaps a chilly, maybe misty start. As we look ahead to tonight, though, we can expect a dry picture. Lots of clear spells overhead. There will be a little patchy cloud from time to time and maybe some patches of mist and fog through the early hours. Our temperatures in towns and cities down to two or three degrees. So rural spots could well see just a touch of frost as we start the day tomorrow morning. So a nippy start to Wednesday then. And it looks like we'll see any mist and fog lifting through the morning period. A fine start, some good sunny spells, a little more cloud building in into the afternoon and through the afternoon there's a risk of catching a few showers particularly through easternmost parts top temperatures through the course of tomorrow up to 12 or 13 degrees now your inshore waters for Celsi bill to Lyme Reed is valid from midday tomorrow right through until midday on Thursday the winds will be north or northwest three or four and as we take a look ahead to Thursday, well, high pressure continues to be in charge. So we do have some pretty settled conditions, albeit rather cloudy through much of the day. But there will be one or two brighter skies from time to time. And eastern fringes may just see a little bit of wet weather nudging in. Temperatures still in double digits across the board. Into the tail end of the week and for Friday, high pressure still dominating. But it does look like we're going to see a northeasterly influence. So we're getting some cool winds on the way. And we'll really notice a difference to the feel of things through Friday. Much fresher, but still with some dry conditions and some sunny breaks as well. And indeed, it's rather chilly as we take a look ahead to Saturday too. We'll still see some good brightness. It stays dry right across the weekend with some sunshine on Sunday. Sarah, thank you, and thanks for your company. We are back, same time, same place tomorrow. Hope you can be too. Meanwhile, much more through the evening on the BBC News channel, of course, and we have our late news at 10.30 here on BBC One. Join us then if you can. Bye-bye. Good night.